everybody, happy Sunday. It's Randy here from Granite State Fitness, and I'm just presenting the third workout on the second week of the GSF OQ online competition. This is called Tesco, all right? This is a Tabata style workout, meaning we're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. How this is structured is there's five different movements. We're gonna be doing that Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times per movement, okay? So I'm gonna do double unders, followed by hand release push-ups, followed by ab mat sit-ups, then air squats, and then burpees, okay? What I wanna see is that we do all eight rounds of each one before moving on to the next one, okay? So we're not running through this eight times, all right? How we're gonna score this is it's gonna be the lowest number of reps you did in those eight rounds per movement, okay? So if we did 50 double unders in the first 20 seconds, but we can only get 10 double unders on the next one, our score is gonna be 10, all right? It's not gonna be the sum of all of them, all right? So what we wanna do is try to make sure that we're consistent all the way through. It doesn't pay to go 100 miles an hour out the gate, but it also doesn't pay to take a round off either. So we wanna kind of find that consistent level all the way through. Hand release push-ups. It's just a regular push-up, but as we get down to the ground, we're gonna take our hands off the ground. If you're recording this video, I wanna see separation from the ground, all right? Ab mat sit-ups, again, if you don't have an ab mat, just roll up a towel, you know, use a yoga mat, something like that to kind of protect the low back and the uh, tailbone. Air squats, I want the hips to go below parallel or below the plane of the knees, all right? And then we're gonna come all the way back up. I wanna see the knees locked out, the hips locked out. You know the deal. Burpees, get down, get back up, hop at the top, all right? If you're doing this unequipped, the only thing that's gonna change here is you're going to be doing jumping jacks instead of double unders, all right? So those jumping jacks, I wanna see hands clapping above the head, hands clapping the thighs, all right? What are we gonna need for this is essentially just a jump rope, all right? Equipment-wise, this is a very minimal workout. You can pretty much do this anywhere, all right? If we don't have a jump rope, again, we're just gonna sub in the jumping jacks. If we have any sort of movement, mobility issues, skill, uh, skill set uh, issues, we are going to scale this by doing uh, single unders, all right? So the idea is like, if we're still working on double unders, we wanna try to, um, we wanna try to stay consistent uh, with the movement here. So the intended stimulus of this is to be constantly working, all right? So if we're constantly tripping up on these double unders because we're still learning them, I would suggest moving down to single unders and doing this scale. All right, push-ups, if we have any issues with the strength or mobility in the push-ups, we're gonna sub that by going down to the knees. I still wanna see contact with the chest and the thighs touching the ground, hands off the ground, okay? Squat to a target. If we have an issue getting down below parallel and coming all the way back up, find a target that is roughly at or below parallel or maybe a little bit higher, and then we're gonna squat down to that and then come back up. And then for the burpees, all I want to see for scaled burpees is just get down all the way to the ground and then get all the way back up, all right? That's really the intention of burpees uh, anyway is to make sure that if you're on the ground, you can get back up. Uh, that's, that's all we really want to see here. So that's it. Uh, 2.3 Tesco, Tabata style, five movements. You're going to score the sum of the lowest reps in each one, and that total is going to be your final score, all right? So go ahead, get after it, have fun, let me know how you do, and make sure to tag us in the video um, or any kind of selfies you take on Instagram, any of that stuff, make sure that you tag hashtag GSFOQ. All right, get after it, stay safe, stay healthy.